Brett Okamoto with ESPN alongside Alexa Kamur, who just defeated Justin Ledette at UFC 246 in Las Vegas. And uh, the first question I want to ask you is, it's such an interesting situation that I think you find yourself in. You're 24 years old, it's your UFC debut, and here you are fighting on the card of the same card as Conor McGregor and Cowboy Cerrone. What was that experience like for you this week? It's incredible. Uh, you know, I, I came in calm, so I wanted to come in calm. Um, came in calmer than I thought I would, so I was excited about that. I was able to move around a little bit, kind of showcase some stuff that I work on in the gym. Um, but, you know, huge, huge event. Uh, the stadium was different, and, you know, the crowd was different. Uh, but I think the Contender Series kind of, like, eased me into it, so it was a very good warm-up into, uh, you know, what we just did. I was going to ask you that. You know, the, the Contender Series is, is pretty high pressure, right? You have one chance to fight in front of Dana White, and he's going to give you a contract or not. How would you compare that experience to fighting, to be a curtain jerker on a Conor McGregor card? It, it was it was nerve wracking. I I, uh, I can't even decide which one was I was more nervous for, uh, but um, you know I think I did a good job of you know relaxing and and uh, doing you know doing what I do in the cage and I was excited about that. Now you get a perk, right? Because you get to you get to hang out and you get to watch one of the biggest fights of the year. Where you got a seat? Where are you going to be watching this thing from? Uh, I have no idea. Hopefully, I can you know sit with my uh, my brother and my uh, my friends that came in uh, from Cleveland to watch the fight. Uh, but you know, if, as long as I'm with you know my coaches or teammates, you know somebody I care about, uh, you know I'm excited either way. Talk about the fight. I mean, everybody knows that coming into this one, you had five professional fights and they were all knockouts. And then this one goes the distance. How did it feel? You know, getting getting the full three rounds in tonight. Uh, I, you know, I do. Uh, I am excited that I got you know some cage time. Um, I obviously would have liked a, a, a finish. It would have been, you know, it would have been nice. I want to give the people something new, uh, something to talk about, and show, give them a show. Uh, but you know, I, I knew Justin was a, a game fighter. I knew he was tough, uh, so I was, you know, I was ready for the three-round war. And you know, he was tough. But uh, you know, we come in with a game plan. I executed the game plan, and you know, victory is always the outcome. So. I was listening for Stipe on the broadcast, but I couldn't hear him, which was shocking to me because the man has, has a voice that you can pick up pretty easily. Were you able, were you able to hear him at all during oh, the fight, and what was he saying? Yeah, I heard Stipe. I heard him. Uh, I was, I was, I was, my mind was completely blank. The only people I hear are the voices that I'm, you know, I know, and he is one of those voices. Yep. So uh, I heard my coaches, and I heard, you know, I heard Stipe in the crowd. Uh, I could almost feel him, like, leaning over the barrier, you know, screaming. So, you yeah. know. It's just, it's all love, and I and I appreciate him so much. What was he saying? I mean, I'm sure some technical advice. Did anything stick out? Anything that he was yelling at you? I think he I think he said like he's he's backing up. You got him backing up. You know, push him a bit. I was trying to control myself, so you know, uh, I did want to like kind of push the pressure, but at the same time, I knew he was a tough dude, so I had to be careful. Well, last question for you. You know, I mentioned you're 24 years old. Uh, you just fought a guy though who had twice as much experience as you and Justin Ledet. Where do you where do you think you you are in this division, and what kind of challenges do you think are, are appropriate? What are you looking for in your next fight? Uh, I, I know I have a, a ways to go, and my career is just beginning, and I got some growing to do, and and I know that you know in no way, shape, or form do I think and I'm uh, that I'm uh, you know you know ready to you know fight the biggest fighters in the 205 division. But I think in time, and you know the UFC will give me appropriate uh, matchups. They'll give me good matchups, and you know I think. In due time, I'm, I'm going to be ready for those big fights. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.